Well, come here. Come sit. Come here. Come on. Oh, oh God. Thank you. I'm whoa, I'm so shiny. You know what? We're just gonna have to go with it, but we don't have time to do makeup. Hello, and welcome to the Once Upon a Corgi podcast. We are a crafty puppy podcast coming to you from Southern Connecticut. I'm Gabby, your host, and we have Iron today, my dire wolf corgi, who is super snuggly. And yes, Audrey's wandering around in the background somewhere. You can find me at all the fun places online at Gabigales. Oh god, nope. You can find all of my hand eyed yarn at Once Upon a Corgi and Once Upon a Corgi.com. Thank you so much for new and returning viewer. The cat is licking a piece of cardboard paper across the coffee table. Apologies for any background noises. I am currently printing off patterns for New England Fiber Festival. As you can see behind me, I have bins and bins of yarn. We are vending uh, at our own booth for the first time this year at New England Fiber Festival, and I'm so excited. I don't know if I got through all the administrative stuff, but whatever. So I'm going to record this quickly before I have to pack the car and uh, head up to my parents' house because they live about an hour closer to the Biggie Fairgrounds in West Springfield, Massachusetts. So might as well get a head start today while I can. Have a sip of tea. I have Mrs. Pat Moore's pudding tea my knitting mug. So it's going to be a kind of short episode, kind of quick. I wanted to share what I was doing with you guys the past couple of weeks because it's been a really sporadic yet hectic busy time for me. So I wanted to stop in and say, hey, how you doing? This is also a new uh, layout background for us besides the giant boxes. We are uh, facing my kid. Oh, oh, I just punched you in the jaw. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, over here is my studio and right but directly behind the wall of yarn is the kitchen Yeah, are you the tallest corgi? Do you want to sit on my lap again? You gotta you have to sit on my lap. You can't just trample me Iron I think thinks we're moving again because boxes keep appearing after uh, we got the shipment for Hugh Loco We had boxes in the house for a while and then we got more boxes in the house So I feel like he's getting a little nervous. Yeah, thank you uh, before I get into what I've been working on, we have a couple prizes that came in for the... <laughs> the cat's trying to like make a bed between a bunch of glass pumpkins on a bunch of McDonald's napkins. I have no shame in my better options. Um, we have a couple prizes that have come in for the Pumpkin Mal, which I am hosting with the lovely Joanna from Op Stitching the High Notes or Opera Joe on Instagram. And the first one is, I'm going to leave them in the plastics. Well, one's not in plastic, but it will be. Yeah, I know, but it's yarn. This is by my friend Lauren, who has Colorworks Yarns. And this is her Slutty Pumpkin Spice colorway. And she does have a, is it on this one? I think I lost the actual card. She has a coupon code out for her shop right now uh, for 15% off, I believe, with the code Rhinebeck. I'm gonna put it up here, I'll put it in the coupon code, but you should absolutely check out her shop. I love her yarn. I love her sock blanks and she's the cutest person in the world. I cannot get over this colorway. I might have to get a skein for myself. I'll get it. So thank you so much, Lauren. And the other prize that came in, uh, a friend of mine, I love knitters because we can just sort of like show up at each other's houses and drop off a bag of yarn like, I'm not going to use this here and then run and you're like, well, all right. So my friend did that and I found this skein in there called Cara Cara Orange. It's 100% Superwash Merino, Air and Weight from Vocabulary Yarn. Oh, sorry, there we go. So I'm gonna throw this into the prize pool for the Pumpkin Mail, which is running until November 23rd, American Thanksgiving. And there are chatter and FO threads in both my Ravelry group and Joanna's Ravelry group. Sounded like my printer just ate something. 
All right, let's get into some knitting. I have an FO, and that is one of my Rhinebeck sweaters. I managed to finish all three in time for the 75 degree weekend, but I wore them nonetheless, because in the shade when it got windy, it was nice and chilly. So this is the Mayette cardigan by Andy Satterland, and I knit it on my seasonal base, which is 100% Superwash, Superwash BFL Aran Weight in the No Sleep Till Rhinebeck colorway. I love the way it's turned out. And it's a three quarter sleeve craft cardigan. I'm gonna get dog hair all up in my tee. It's a little bit big. The smallest size is a 34 inch bust and I'm a 32 if I try hard. So it's a little bit big, but I think if I get uh, more buttons, it'll work out nicely. It fits nicely with layers. So that's, that's good. I just love the way this color turned out. And it's so squishy and soft. So I'm very, I'm very glad I finished it in time. Uh, the buttons are some, I don't know. They were on a pair of shorts that I grew out of. So I stole them off to make another pair of shorts, but then I made that pair of shorts too big. And I haven't fixed them yet. So I just stole the buttons off of them so I could close the cardigan for Rhinebeck. But I will eventually get real buttons for this. One day. Joanne is having a sale soon, so I think I might stop by there. Uh, yeah, that's my only really finished object. I finished the spiderweb dress. I will be posting pictures around here, I hope, for it. Uh, that all depends because I'm potentially just gonna record this video, pack the car, drive it to my parents' house, and then maybe edit it there. Hoping I can get this out before tomorrow, Friday, November 3rd. For whips, I have been working on a couple things for the pumpkin mail. I started a pair of mittens by Skein Deer Knits, the pumpkin spice latte mittens. And this is what I had. As you can see, there's nothing here. It's just live stitches. Um, as I was knitting it, I was like, oh, this isn't really contrasty. I also don't know if this will fit. Like it gets on my hand. So I think my gauge is okay. I think once I block it, I'll be fine. But if you take a picture of it in black and white, it's just all one color. Now there's a plane. So I took the needles out and decided I'm not going to knit this if you can't see the pumpkins. And I grabbed uh, the joy of being an indie dyer. When you need a contrast color, you can just make one. So I grabbed a skein of my Nightmares Plus 10 base. Scoot, scoot closer. And the orange is Pum Queen on my iron base, which is a tweed. I don't know why I wear glasses when I... So there we go. This is much nicer. I am enjoying this so much more. Jax, you can't have Skittles. What's up, Audrey? You gonna say hi? Come here. Come sit. So we have started over again, but I'm much happier with the outcome and I'm really glad I did. Yes, I'm still doing the uh, 2.5 millimeter Haya Haya Sharp interchangeables, which I'm really enjoying. And there's the hand bit. I haven't gotten a chance to really work on these a lot this week. I've needed a lot of mindless knitting, but I'm enjoying them. And that's really it. I kind of want to take them to work at my parents' house this weekend, but I also really want to work on Jake's sweater. I don't know. They're also living on this really, I don't know why I bought this, but it was on sale for like $3. This like faux cross stitch Ikea tray. So I also have my next whip on this tray and this just comes around the living room with me so I can, I can put my tea on it and like sit it on the, the chaise bit of the couch. I don't know, I just wanted it. It was just too cute. The next thing I've been working on because I didn't have any vanilla, no, I have one vanilla sock on the needles, but why knit on that when I can cast on another one? <laughs> These are my Halloween slash Christmas socks. So they're my Halloween cast on and they will be my Christmas Eve cast on and it is the Jack and Sally self-striping colorway from Jinx Yarn. And the mayor from Legacy Fiber Arts. How could I not put them together? I'm knitting them on a 2.5 millimeter um, Knitter's Pride Cubics, the little square DPNs, and I'm thoroughly enjoying this so much. This is what I knit on in the past two days while waiting for dyes to set. I love Jinx. I don't know why I don't have more of her yarn. I don't, this is only my second skein, but it just makes me so happy. Oh, just look at that. 
I watched Nightmare Before Christmas twice this week, and I loved every second of it. We also watched The Addams Family, and Nightmare Before Christmas, Addams Family, and then I think we just watched Mindhunter and Stranger Things all Halloween. I watched Mindhunter. Jake's not so much into the true... I. He's not not into it. He's just not as into it as I am into the true crime thing. I don't know. Serial killers just, I want to say they're my jam, but I really enjoy learning about them. Uh... So those are my couch knits. And the last major thing I've been working, oh no, I have one other. I have to get it. I have to get up. I don't want to get up. I'm so tired. Ugh, bubble up, duel. One of the other things I've been working on, uh, I showed this a while ago. This is the Sweet Pea Dress by Mina Phillip. I'm gonna have like a 10 minute podcast. I feel like I'm just talking really fast and I'm really sorry. This is the Sweet Pea Dress by Mina Phillip and I added sleeves to it. I'm knitting this for a friend for her new, nah, I don't know, six month old baby. I don't know, she had it this year. And there we go. I think I have about two or three more inches left of the skirt and, um, then the bind off. We'll see. I'm trying to make everything about an inch, inch and a half longer than what the pattern calls for, just so she's got extra room. I don't know how big this baby is. I haven't seen her in like a month. So the top bit, um, this is on my Audrey base, which I am retiring. I'm going to get, going to revamp it in the new year. So this was an 80 20 uh, two ply high twist BFL nylon. This is uncomfortably pink. And then this is a one-of-a-kind skein I dyed up based on apple crumble where I added gray and orange. And I'm really enjoying how it's knitting out. I'm knitting it on US 4. I don't know what the millimeters are because it rubbed off the needles. Uh, Knitter's Pride Carbons. And it's just going. It's just a giant stocking up tube at this point. This was another thing I was working on while dying because I could just pick it up and knit a couple stitches and then speckle and then knit a couple stitches. And this is living in my Jax Skellington Vixens Fixins bag from Etsy. I love it. Gotta keep Halloween going everywhere. Can't just have it on the couch, the couch knitting. And this will be coming with me to New England Fiber Festival because this will be a good, oops, I zipped the yarn, uh, mindless knit while, while I'm in the booth. Okay, for real. The last thing I've really been working on is a new cast on with new yarn. And that is the Surprise Party Shawl by Helen Stewart. Right? <gasps> so this is out of Hugh Loco yarn. The red is rose hips on her tweed sock. And then the minis are her Color Riot Outlander set. And I'm using this little pumpkin stitch marker Lauren gave me as part of our, we did an advent calendar swap and she gave me a bag and my advent calendars sitting up on the shelves over here, actually over here, more like it. Um, and this was on the zipper. So I put it on, it's on Etsy. I'll leave a link, but they were really fairly priced for tiny clay pumpkins. I love it. So cute. So there we go. I am really enjoying this. We're, we're getting a lot of stitches on the needles already, but it's not a, like it's a lot of just knitting back and forth. And then a couple, a couple things. I don't want to give too much away. It is a paid for pattern, but it is so worth it. Just look at this section. Ugh, I love the details in Helen's patterns. Like it's just the little things. This is also covered in so much dog hair. I just love it so much. Actually, maybe I'll bring this to work on over the weekend instead of Jake's sweater. Sorry, Jake. And that is living in my Hundreds Ravens, Ravens bag. And the minis are living in my Elden Woodcraft uh, Notions pouch because they all just fit in here so nicely. I can zip it now. I couldn't zip it before. And that's really all I've been knitting. Uh, I worked on, <gasps> did I watch Outlander this week? God, what's wrong with me? How did I not watch Outlander this week? Do I have time to watch it before I leave? Oh, my phone. I'm recording on my phone. Oh, God. I have worked on my Outlander socks. Um, I cast on the cuff and started the leg on the second sock and then ripped it out about three times because I kept messing it up while watching Outlander. Who'd have thunk that that show would be really involved? But there's not really, not really much to show you. Also, it's way over there. 
so that's what I have been working on. Um, I finished the spider dress. I do have plans to do more sewing. Why is my face so red? I think, I think I'm just really hot. I'm wearing my so faded, my Franco faded, and it's starting to warm up and now I'm starting to move. So just getting really hot in here. Yes, I finished the spider web dress and I do have plans to do more sewing soon. I would like to do the the Heather dress by Sew Over at London and they have a new dress out like two months ago it came out. I'll put a picture up here, I hope. I don't remember what it's called, but I have fabric left over from both my Coco dress and the spider dress that I think I can do that dress to just have a nice, you know, uh, black background with floral print <laughs> dress because you can never have too many apparently. So I would like to get that done relatively soon. And yeah, I have a lot, I have a lot of fabric in my stash that I'd really like to, to sew up. I think I'm going to do another Betty dress for the holidays. I have this dark burgundy purple uh, double gauze that I think I might make into a three quarter sleeve v-neck Betty dress. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I, I just kind of want another Betty dress. I haven't figured out yet. That is for next, maybe next week. Jake has, he accidentally took next week off of work as a vacation because he mixed, he like didn't write down the New England Fiber Festival dates. So I think I'm gonna give myself a couple days off after New England and just sort of have a sewing day and then have a hangout day with him and cat is calling to the birds. So yeah, so that's my sewing plans. I'm hoping to get much more done soon. I'm still working on my craft area it's a constant work in progress. I'm really impressed my printer has not uh, lit on fire yet. But yeah, uh, that's what I've been working on. It's been a lot of dyeing, as you can see. We're all got lots. We're gonna we're gonna have lots of single skeins. We're gonna have uh, Edgar Allan Poe kits. I guess this is sort of shop update. Like there'll be a shop update on Monday when I come back from New England Fiber Festival with whatever is left. But there we will have lots of single skeins. Jake has dyed uh, the first collection of boyfriend line yarns. So we have eight Thor Ragnarok colors. We have two one-of-a-kind colorways and then we have eight uh, Aquaman colorways. I can grab Aquaman for you. Thor is in here so. Here is the Aquaman colorway. So there will be four on Polworth and four on the Oliver base. I still have to, we dyed those up last night, so I still have to label and scan those. Okay, so yeah, boyfriend line and my mom, Mama Gergs, as many of you met her at Rhinebeck, uh, is debuting her yarn, oh God, Irene, thank you, thank you bud her yarn line, Little Elephant Yarns, at New England Fiber Festival as well. She just posted her, like just opened up her Etsy shop. She's very excited for it. Lots of Wizard of Oz stuff and I think it's adorable. So I will put a link to that in the show notes as well. And you can come and say hi to us at booth. <laughs> so much dog hair. <laughs> He's molting like it's spring, but it's definitely not. Thank you. Um, you can come visit us at booth 536 at the Fiber Festival of New England. I'm so excited. So, mm -hmm. that's what I've been up to lately. Lots of show prep. Um, we've got some trunk shows coming up in December that I'm really excited about. We have the Connecticut Christmas gift show. We have Do You Knit, December 16th. And then December 23rd, we are at Nitty City. So it's gonna be a busy, busy season and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. So I'm going to let you go. I've got here my mouth. And I will hopefully do a real length episode very soon. Maybe not Monday or Tuesday because that's, I don't think I'll have knit significantly on anything, but maybe next Sunday. I hope I got everything I wanted to say. I feel like I rushed through this video and I apologize if I talk really fast and seem out of breath, but we got we got some stuff to do. We got moves to make. So the loads in my car, <laughs> I don't want to. So uh, everything for the show notes can be found at the Revelry Group, um, Once Upon a Corgi podcast. 
forgot the name of the podcast for a second. On Ravelry under the Groups tab. And again, thank you so much for watching and joining and saying hello at Rhinebeck and stopping by at New England Fiber Festival. So we will see you guys this weekend. And I'm going to try and do some video. There. I promise. Maybe. <laughs> no, get <laughs> I accidentally put a table in front of the box. cat box door. Okay, I'm gonna go load the car and hit the road, I think. I will see you guys soon. Have a good week, happy crafting, bye.